Oh, oh, out. Now is he going to get up? Is he going in? Madsen is out. He's not making a move. So another wicket for the fire. He is, he's coming. Well, Madsen, who scored plenty of runs behind the wicket, oh. just tried to guide it, maybe stuck in the wicket. Surprised him, really. And it was a simple catch, so Madsen, he departs for 10. And Manchester Originals, 81 for 2. Oh, edge and uh, he's held one. He's held one. Excellent work. Excellent. I take everything I said back. Joe Clark. Well done, sir. Runs away to his left and pouches it. Well, you hope he does catch this because it just lobs to him. The only way this comes out is if his elbows hit the ground too early. But it's a good slower ball from Jake Ball. Walter is through it too quickly. And it's a good wicket for the Welsh Fire. Again, Walter's gone for 13. It's 130 from 81 deliveries, but they're six down. Yep. Swing and a miss. Ball strikes. And it's Abbott who has to go. Yeah, it is pace off. Just 70 miles an hour. Open himself up, Sean Abbott, to go over deep mid-wicket. A little bit of an off-cutter, top of off stump. He's done well to come back from those three big sixes in his first over, Jake Ball. He's a good bowler, an experienced bowler as well. End of Abbott, he goes for one. It's 147 from 96. Slower one, high, who wants it? Deep mid-wicket underneath it. Ben Duckett, I think. Takes it comfortably, very good. And what a very good finish from the Welsh Fire, from their bowlers, from all of them, and their men in the field as well, to restrict the Manchester Originals to 149 for nine.